hello hello hi everybody um, I just posted a, <clears throat> a post about our DNA testing and I wanted to show you guys who I'm testing number one and number two I'm gonna go through and kind of show you how to do it um, I've done this before on youngsters like really baby babies but I'm gonna go ahead and test all of my grow outs here except for the ones that I know for sure are boys. So I have separated everybody into tubs and I'm gonna go ahead and start testing. So these are the ones I selected. Um, this one here, she's a red, red partridge. Um, and I obviously I selected the ones that I think are girls and it'll just confirm what I believe and um, that way I can either pair them up or use them in breeding or sell them. Um, I've got some buffs here that I'm unsure of if they're girls or boys, so I want to go ahead and DNA test them. Um, they're pretty heavily crested, so it's really hard to tell. Um, this partridge showgirl, um, again, not sure. Um, this paint here, I'm thinking this one might be a boy. I'm hoping it's a girl. Um, again. Can I see your face, girly? <laughs> She's got nice spots. Um, and then there's a blue in here that I'm thinking might be a boy, but it, I'm hoping it's a girl, this one here. Um, it's really hot, heavily crested. If it's a boy, I'm keeping it. If it's a girl, we'll see. Um, but it's all these guys have been culled pretty heavily for my show pens and um, are kind of the best of the best that I've grown out for the last four months. So this is, see the band here I have on this guy's girl's leg? I'm calling this one a girl. I'm hoping it's a girl. I put red on all the girls. Um, and these, these guys here, um, I've got two white satins. A young paint that I want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, two whites that I can't tell one way or the other at all at this age. Those are about four months old. Um, this is what I'm calling all my boys over here. I'm not even going to DNA test these guys because I am about 90% sure these are all boys. So um, they were keepers for me because of their um overall quality and type so far so these are going to be either showbirds grown out or um sold as breeders all of them have perfect toes perfect feet heavily crusted very nice type um like this paint here this one here is a keeper and they like to fly out so i'm gonna put the lid back on this one here is a keeper for me um This white here is a nice show quality white. Oh, come here. Say hi. You can see his face. That's one of Olaf's babies. Got a little water on him. But I'm calling this one um, a real nice show quality white. So these boys, if anybody needs a boy out of here, let me know. Um, I will be putting some of them up for sale. I put a few of them up for sale on my website. Um, I put the buff up and a black, I believe. Um, there's two paints in here. I'm going to keep the one with the big spots. Uh, the other one's available. Um, there's three blacks. All of which are very nice. And this beautiful buff boy. Um, see, I banded him already, boy. Um, that one there I'm calling a boy. It's pretty obvious at this point. So let me show you guys while I'm out here in the beautiful, gorgeous sunlight. This is what it looks like. So, I don't know if you can see that. But you mark them, you put the, you know, you do this all online, obviously, date of birth. Um, what band you gave them. I'm doing feather testing on these guys because they're older, a little easier. Just pluck a few feathers, make sure you've got some blood on them. 
and fold it up, mail it off. These are going to Spain. Uh, the lab for the AVN Diagnostics is in Spain, the one that I use. So I'm sending them probably just priority mail. It'll take about six days to get there. Um, but I've got all the tests here, all the birds are marked, everything's labeled. And then I'll just go through and I'll probably just pluck a chest feather. It's pretty easy to get. Tape them on and, oops, mail them off. That's it. So one more, one last time, here's my boy pen. Or my boy bucket. Anybody shopping for a boy, let me know. Um, here's my... Probably girl buckets here. These are all the ones that I think are girls. And more. I want to confirm my suspicion on all these potential girls here. A buff there, I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's a girl. I need a girl. Um, this one here, she's talking. Stunning. That one there's talking. None of them are crowing and none of them are laying. <laughs> Probably got about two more months before they crow or they lay, so I just wanted to confirm where we're at, what we got. Again, these are the best of the best that I've grown out for the season. And some of which will be available, some of which will be going into the pens. And then I have probably 10 more I'm gonna pull out after I get this set done. And go ahead and get one set done and then, and then move on. It's a lot of plucking. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching.